to get another big team like Chesterfield in the FA Trophy. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, they're a big club and basically they're not doing so well in their league. So, again, it's the cup final for them as well, same as us. Um, Chesterfield have got a lot of history and, you know, unfortunately in the last couple of years they've not done so well. So, you know, we'll, we'll be going about our business very professionally and on the day, it's all about on the day and how we do. I'm not really too worried about what they're going to do. It's how we're going to affect the game, you know, what our game plan is going to be and, and um, you know, how we're going to shape up as a team. Uh, what was your first thought when you saw we got Chesterfield away? I was actually happy being an old club um, for two reasons. Happy because it's nice to go back to an old club, but also happy because you look at it and you have to view it as a winnable game. Um, and so far, we haven't really feared anybody. We've respected teams in the competition, but we haven't feared anybody. And um, that's been probably the good stuff of our success that we've gone into the games fearless. And I think we'll do the same again Saturday. We'll go into the game fearless and we'll go and enjoy, enjoy the game, not the occasion. Has there, been, has there been anything different leading up to training coming up this Saturday? Um, well, going back to training, we've not really had continued, continual sort of Tuesday and Thursday because we've had a lot of games and obviously because we've, we've done quite well in the cup competition, we've, we've had a lot of replays. So, um, yeah, our tra training regime's been very good. Um, I mean, we've had a good session this Tuesday. Um, we've got a bit of analysis, analysis tonight and then we're obviously doing some set pieces out there as we speak. Um, so we've set ourselves up properly um, as far as we're concerned. As I say, we'll, we'll go there, we'll be the underdogs and you know, on the day it's uh, the best team will win. Well, you must feel it's a very winnable game seeing how well you've played so far this season in the Cup and with Chesterfield somewhat surprised, surprising everyone that they're struggling a bit this year. Chesterfield, um, they've had a bit of a bad run recently. Um, but Cup competition, as we all know, is on the day and I think that's the beauty of it. But we have the momentum of, obviously, we've played everybody above us in the higher leagues. So we've overcome, we've played replays, we've been better than sides over two games, not just one game. And I think that will give our lads confidence. So it's one of them classic ones where we go there, we give it our all and we don't disappoint. You know, we come back there with a replay, happy days, we win the game, brilliant. But whatever happens, we know that our side will give it their all and try and get through to the next round. Um, are you worried at any point with the fans or Chesterfield with the drama they've had recently as well as last Saturday what they just had? Not really, I think it's probably, uh, I think they've stamped that out and um, I've read a little bit about um, the article and I think there's um, there's been a banning order on a, a few of the fans and you know, I don't think that's going to bother us at all and it happens and it happens at the higher level you go, stuff like this does um, obviously go on but um, you know, I don't think with the number of uh, people that will be taken that, that there won't be sort of any crowd interference uh, on Saturday. So, Have you got any messages for the fans who are thinking of travelling to Chesterfield? Has the club already upgraded the coach to attend the more fans who are wanting to go? Our fans have been uh, tremendous this year um, and I'd, I'd say this is half the reason why we're, we're here. You know, the support they gave us an all shot on a cold, wet day far. Um, we expect the same from them. Saturday, they've now doubled the coach as you said, so we've got even more numbers going. We know they'll sing from one minute to the 95th minute, okay, win, lose, or draw, and they're fully got behind us. You know, it's, it's cliche in football, they talk about the 12th man, but our fans really have been the 12th man this year, not just through the game, up and coming games, but from the start of the season. And obviously, for us as a management team and a squad, it's something that we appreciate. But also, um, like the fans we spent, we've, uh, we've earned their support in the drones that they have started to come back in.